Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a, a simple racing game and uh, later on I'm gonna show you guys how to make it more advanced but this will be the, be the most basic racing game you ever seen. So first of all we're gonna do us a car. Uh, it's gonna be very primitive but I like it primitive. This and Here we have the car. And I'm gonna have some kind of skin. For right now, I'm gonna pick a basic color. And I love green, so it's gonna be a green car. And then we're gonna have something to uh, drive on. Yeah. To have some sense. Add a basic texture on the ground. The standard UV grid will do it. And then I'm gonna add a ground material. Ground mat. Gonna name it. Going to base color, yellow dot, and pick image texture. And title. All right then. Um, now we have the foundation. Now we're gonna add some game logic. Start off with the camera. It will always So 
always follow the car. Too close. Try ten. Maximum. Well, maybe. Do some height. Try five. Still too close. Ah, four maybe. And. Ah, whatever. Mm. Looking good. I want the camera to stay behind the Y axis, negative Y axis. So, pick that. Don't think that work. I'm gonna positive Y axis. Mm, maybe. Then I'm gonna make the car drivable. First of all, I need to add C6. From static to uh, pretty manic. Uh, we can later on go for jiggy body, but for this, it's gonna do the manic because uh, it will not roll over that easy in the manic mode. But it will in uh, rigid body. And our uh, ground here is completely flat, so. We start off with that. As I say, it's, it's a very simple uh, way to do this. As I say, it's simple. Gonna add force so it has acceleration. That's why this It's gonna be a different beast. Uh, gamma experiment here. Yeah. It's gonna be a pretty weird one because you can stand. What the fuck oh, ah, uh -huh. my bad.
If you like uh, to make a drifting game, you can. Uh, you don't need to tweak it so much more than this. Right then, um, we're going to take the six. This is uh, gonna go here. Here we can uh, change the friction. So like say the y axle no free no see no friction I'm gonna raise the overall fr friction to like say 10 check this out you can drive forward and you will have no friction you can roll how long you want but when you turn around the car it uh, it have full friction it's a lot of friction when you try to turn so you don't slide too much it will simulate uh, that you have wheels with good friction. This is not uh, the real deal. It's uh, it's the basic thing, very basic, but it works. Um, Match, not much as a car simulator. Yeah. And we're just gonna try to use the rigid body instead. We see the difference. So when I try to, yeah, see that. <laughs> We're gonna add some collision bounce, like a box. Yeah, as you can see, when I have the rigid body on the car, it will very easy try to turn over. Maybe a lot of tweaking we can make this make get even more realistic, realistic and better with the rigged body. But for us, it's more than an itch issue. But when I go over to the whoop, when I go over to the itch here, like whoa, so so it's more realis realistic, but. It need more tweaking, so we're going back to the easy stuff. The manic can't ro roll over with the manics, but when you go over the affair, check this out. You never the car will never roll over with the manic. Um, this will be great if you plan to make uh, flat maps, flat tracks, uh, like uh, old school. Uh, a racing a car game like Lotus series from the Amiga computer area from the 80s or uh, Outrun the Akkar machine Outrun and such that this will be good enough um, if you wanna build a proper car simulation or terrain game hill climbing and stuff uh, this is will not do it and uh, I will show you how to do that next time so upvote my video and give a like and subscribe please I'm new to this so if you guys uh, start watching my videos spread it let other watch it and if you want me to make more videos, I will continue. Because this is, is pretty fun.